Alexa, call me daddy. I'd rather not. Alexa, what's gooning? I don't have an answer for that. Google it. Oh. Hello! Welcome back to What's Safe Word. I'm Am. I'm Mr. Christopher. <laughs> I think. <laughs> think about that I for will. a second. <laughs> Zipper Magazine. That's some goon energy if I've ever seen it right there. <laughs> and welcome back to What's a Safe Word. Today we are talking about gooning. It is still Masturbation May, and we've still got a lot of spunk to get onto the internet. I'm gonna go bait in the goon. Shed. Now, in more recent years, the terms gooning and baiting has been very uh, popularized by the drag. Gooning and baiting in the bed. <laughs> but it leads us to question, what even is gooning? But the actual definition of gooning, in its most simplified form, is that it's a state usually achieved after a prolonged edging session. And it's described as getting to such a heightened pleasure state where you're almost in this hypnotic, hazy, gooned out experience. Stroke, 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 stroke. I'm sorry, I'm gooned out. And so today, we are gonna be covering gooning, answering your questions, doing a little bit of a history, and telling you how to get into that wonderful goon state that's almost hypnotic. Jack as long as you want, I don't care. Who's Jack? Just Jack. So let's get into your questions and get into a deep dive of what gooning is. Daddy explosion, please. I'm gonna go bait in the goon shed. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. <laughs> so I asked y'all on social media if you had questions about gooning, and the first question says, about what? <laughs> <laughs> see, see, this is why we need to educate on what it is. I didn't even know what it was. And what, what I really love is like, there's this goon face that people will refer to when it comes to gooning. I have no idea what you're talking about. I feel like it's more like eyes rolled back, like pleasure, it kind of like, mm. Yeah, that's, that's one of them, because they're not focused on how their face looks. We usually were like, you know, in our own heads, focused on how we look, standing, sitting. When you're gooned out, you are gooned out. So you know the best way to goon? I hope you're gonna tell me. <laughs> Undo your zipper. Okay, because today we're working in collaboration with Zipper Magazine, and they are doing a whole Masturbation May month and focusing on gooners this week. So we wanted to talk a little bit about gooners and wanna ask you guys to check out Zipper Magazine. Again, zippermagazine.com. They are a publication that is working to make sure that the sex ed is accessible and is doing it with the kink and BDSM community in mind. And they're not only a kink positive organization, but an organization that's working with clips for sale to make sex ed possible all over the internet. So thank you again Zipper Magazine for asking us to work with y'all on this. Go check them out in the link down below and uh, don't be a goon. Or, or do. Wait, can you goon out while you surf the internet? I, you know, some goons are very talented. <laughs> Next question. Turns out the term itself actually refers to the term gone or gone, G-O-N-E, which means simpleton, back in the 1580s. And it was meant for someone who was a bit more simpler, a little more dull, or do 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 you know? Okay, okay, just quit antagonizing the gooners. Don't no, I'm telling you the history. Simple. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> Goon baiting also refers to World War II practices in which it's an interaction between the prisoner and the guard or oppressor where the prisoner is aiming to ensure he is not endangered and they're playing mind games or doing actions to confuse their oppressor. And it is also used in 1938 for a term for hired thugs. So the term goon itself is not meant to be harmful, hurtful, but it does refer to a lot of mind games that happen up here and also help down there. I like mind games, so that I'm into. Well then just stare into this spiral uh, and keep jerking uh, off. Uh, uh, You're entering a flow state where I'm staring at you. But the term regained popularization when the cartoon Popeye came out and they started using the term goon to refer to an island within the show. Where, of course, there were a bunch of kind of more himbo-y characters. Large, meaty fists. Yeah, Brutus. Hairy fists that are- Pow! Oh, oh, oh yeah. Pow! Oh, okay. But maybe he was a gooner because he was dating olive oil, which makes a great lube. It was actually in the comic strips in 1933 where the goons, including notably Alice the Goon, were top-heavy Neanderthal creatures with tufts of hair and their own inseparable language. Sometimes allies and sometimes adversaries in Popeye, but they did live on the whole island of the goons. So fast forward to more current times, we see it used as a term that has to refer to 
essentially jerking off for long periods of time. Some people refer to edging, some people refer to even this meditative state. And I think it should be noted, this is not just for men, but for whatever reason, all the definitions usually refer around penises and men, and that's just, that's, come on guys, get, come on Come guys. on guys. Come on guys. <laughs> but don't have, you don't have to be a guy. I so even asked, where did the funny faces come from? What's the history behind that? And I should, I mean, I don't think there's a, a history as to why people make those faces. I think that's just a kind of a normal, fun, goofy reaction that people take when they get into that really kind of dumb, sexual, meditative space that is gooning. You're giving a lot of face here. I'm serving face. <laughs> I got and a lot goon. of face. As the person keeps edging their genitals, they essentially get into that form of trance where they almost feel one with their genitals. And it's not a matter of so much getting off as much as your genitals are providing so much pleasure from the prolonged state that you've almost kind of created this lock where you don't get off until you really, really want to. And so you're hypnotized by your junk. Hypno is a part of gooning, actually, it turns out, for some people. Interesting. And this came within the thread from a bunch of different people. Why are people into it? Because they have a lot of time on their hands. <laughs> Yeah, because that was my question, because I don't do it myself just because I don't have the time. Well, you don't even like edging, though. I don't, I don't. It's just this this motion. Bro, bro, it, bro. It, I, I'm usually going, okay, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. It's more than just edging. It's more than just jerking off. And to that, some people will even call gooning narcissistic or selfish, but I think it's absolutely the opposite. This is a state of almost tantric sex and meditation for some people. You're getting in a very zen state where you're finding your body, you're figuring out what makes you go, oh, and you're turning yourself on for hours at a time. And when I say hours, I mean hours. And it's probably one of the for safest forms of sex. Yeah, especially during COVID, gooning saw a spike especially on the websites like Bait World where gooning and masturbation is very high because people were able to do it at home, online, with other people. It's fascinating. Next question, <laughs> which comes from Sebastian who says, how long do I have to even <laughs> to become a gooner get into that gooning state? The limit does not exist. The limit does not exist. The limit does not exist. When you get your masters in it, that's how long. Could take a few years then. <laughs> oh my God, a gooning that lasted years. For real though, many people express that edging is where you hit about 15 minutes to 30 minutes, but anything over an hour where you get into that heightened state could be gooning. And some people will even express that they do it for multiple hours. In fact, there are even masturbatathons where people are literally trying to achieve the longest ejaculation or the longest jerk off where people get awards. And some people go upwards of 10 hours, 12, even 14, just masturbating. See, and this is, I'm not being shamey, but who can have an erection for 10 hours? When you get into that heightened state and people do use things like aids of like cock rings, for instance, and of course lube, but they're just in a heightened state where they're stimulated or maybe even overstimulated in some instances to get them into that headspace. I absolutely understand that. As someone who gets into hypno for one to two hours sometimes, you can be aroused once you've unlocked that inner brain. Like there's, there's like a little click and then you just turn it on. Click and then you just turn it on. See, and that, I, I marvel at that. I don't think I've ever been hard for longer than 20 minutes in my life. That's not true. Actually, no, that's not the truth. 30. Fine, 30. 30. <laughs> and I think part of what really helps some people get into it is that meditative headspace. They literally learn how to kind of turn off their ejaculation until they want to get to that spot. Which leads us to our next question from Indy who asks, any tips about it? Anytime I try to goon, I end up coming before getting into the zone. What? Same. <laughs> so would you like some pointers? Yeah, take, teach me. Are Buddhist baiters? Cause they're in that, <laughs> they're in that meditative state. Focus, focus. <laughs> Tips See, on gooning. No, 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 no. I can't be a gooner, I can't focus. <laughs> to start, you need to be able to focus a bit. You need to be able to get to know your body. You also need to have lube. We recommend silicone, because that stays slickest the longest, but whatever lube works for you. Or like Popeye, get olive oil. No, don't get olive oil. <laughs> Many experts in gooning will say, practice jerking off before you really get into a, a real session. Like, get yourself close and then come back down. Get yourself close and then come back down and learn your body and how it flows or gets into that proper space. But do you need practice jerking off? How hard can it be? Apparently only 20 minutes to 30 minutes at a time, daddy. <laughs>
It's also important that you have the time set aside. Like anything, good things come in moderation. And you can go on a nice gooning session, but you have to make sure that it's not cutting into your personal life and actual obligations that you might have. So make sure you set that time aside. And some people even build like little caves where they have like monitors and they get comfy. That's like a goom cave is what they call it, where you have, you know, your monitors with your content or your erotica or the things that are stimulating you. You're in a comfortable spot. You have water or snacks to keep you going. Maybe you have some sort of heightened nitrates or pot, sometimes people include. But again, we want to make sure that you're doing this to the best of your ability and gooning responsibly and safely. A sentence I never thought I would have to say. You just described everything that will put me to sleep. <laughs> Snacks, pot, comfort. Okay, maybe an energy drink? I don't know. Whatever makes it so you can get into that zen space. What if you put a mirror in your cave? Some people might like that though. Okay. No, that might. Some people do need that transfix, that fixation in front of them. Very much like hypno, if you're able to focus on something, that is able to stimulate you and kind of create this feedback loop. So mm. maybe a mirror will work for you. Regardless of how many people are actively involved and engaged in the gooning session, this is called the zone. Or even the flow state. <laughs> many seasoned gooners, which. <laughs> The term seasoned gooner really did. <laughs> Many seasoned gooners will talk about being in the zone almost like playing sports. When someone goes on a streak of just shooting ball after ball after ball, I realize the connotation there. And there's muscle memory to everything they're doing. In that state, you're able to kind of turn off the ejaculation part of your brain and focus just on the pleasure part. And that is when those people are really in the zone. That's why we call it the zone or the flow state. I'm gonna nut! That would be the perfect safe word because you oh, don't for want gooning. to Yeah, yeah, because you don't want to, you might not want to nut. Well, that's just it though. Eventually you do want to nut and that's the, it's the journey, you know? It's not the destination, it's the journey. Because you know you're going to get there eventually probably, but it's the journey and that's what kind of makes gooning almost poetic in a way. Poetic? Mm. Wow. No? You could read Edgar Allan Poe. And lastly, I just also want to say that gooning, jerking off, finding that tantric sex or even meditative, nice sexual part of yourself is not specific to a gender or a sexuality or even a kink. But in this case, this is one kink that specifically focuses on that part, the pleasure, the fun, and the meditative state. So dad, do you have any last minute words for gooners? Yes, different strokes for different folks. And while it may not be your cup of tea, I think we can all appreciate and learn a little bit about the different parts of the sexual spectrum that we live on. Whether you're a goon or a little spoon. Aww. Ooh, I want to cuddle and goon. <laughs> Wait, can you cuddle and goon? Netflix and goon. <laughs> and I, I'll say my last little bit is I think gooning gets a bad rep because sometimes there are substances used with it. Please goon responsibly. But it's also just this fun, silly, almost out of body experience that some people don't understand. And I think it's just about the nonstop carnal sex. When it's really about the nice, body, exploring, finding yourself, your sexuality, and what really turns you on. And it's all about how you look at it. So I hope and I challenge you guys to look at different kinks and sexualities today through a different lens. And while it might not be for you, it's definitely something that turns someone else on. Yeah, I get that. We're all turned on by something a little bit different. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Leave a like down below, leave a comment, leave a subscription, and we will see y'all goons next time. Bye. Bye. Have you read an eight day load though? Cause Trixie and Katya just found out what that was a second ago. I have an eight day load. What is, girl, <laughs> that's no, that's poop. There's poop in there. Is that what? <laughs> oh, you mean like. <laughs> that's a whole nother thing. <laughs> real kink for real people. Brought to you by Sunny Megatron and Clips for Sale.